Hey, René Molenaar here for GNS Treevolt. And I want to show you how you can solve the side-to-side -side IPsec VPN lab. So what do we have? Um, simple topology, three routers, and router Godzilla and Nessie, they each have a loopback. And the idea is that whenever we're sending traffic from one loopback to the other, that uh, it should be encrypted. So let's see how we can do this. Um, the first task, make sure that um, uh, uh, we have full connectivity. So we're going to run OSPF and we're just going to advertise everything that we have. So let's see what we have. Let me put my routers in the right order. Something like this. Oh crap, don't make a typing error. Um, okay, so OSPF. And I'm going to do this the easy way. Just advertise everything that we have. Okay, so let's be patient. Okay, that's better. The router OSPF or 12, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, this should take care of our connectivity. Uh, ensure that they can ping each other. Well, I'm sure they can, so I'm not going to try it. And the next thing is that we're going to set up IPsec. And we'll start with the IJKMP policy, pre-shared key, AES 256 uh, bit, SHA-1 for hashing, Diffie-Hellman group 5, and lifetime is an hour. Okay, that should be the policy. Let's copy and paste it to my other router, since this is the same. There we go. So that's the first step. Uh, second step, let's configure the key that we have. And let me think that should be something like this. Uh, key zero specify the key specify the other side there we go um, that should be the key. Configure the IPsec transform set. Cypher, AES, we're going to use ESP, encapsulating, hashing, SHA. So let's configure this. Um, let me check one more thing. Okay, so the transform set. Um, okay, we can do it like this, crypto, ipsec, transform set, um, let's give it a nice name, my trends, esp, sha1, esp, there we go, that should be it. And we'll put it on this router as well. Okay, so that's the transform set. That's all good. Uh, change the IPsec security association lifetime to 1800 seconds. Um, that's something we can do. And it should be 
uh, let me think where this is where I'm supposed to configure this I think it's crypto here we go that should be it 1800 paste it on this router as well what else do we have um, okay so we're going to encrypt traffic from uh, router Godzilla's loopback to Nessie's loopback so router Godzilla over here the bottom left to the loopback of Nessie on the bottom right so we need to make sure that we configure a access list um, and the correct crypto map so let's see how we can do this uh, first of all the access list let's use an extended one so that's the access list on this side and another one for this And there we go. This should be the access list. Let's create the crypt map, the crypto map. Um, IPsec, Isaac KMP. Match our access list. Configure the peer. That's the other side. What else do we have? Um, BFS, Davy Hellman, the transform set, and I'm going to set a security association. Doesn't matter that much, but let's just pick something. And let's do the same thing over here. And here we go. So that's the crypto map. That's all good. Uh, one more step. We need to apply the crypto map on the interface. And that should be something like this. Crypto map, my map. And you can see that it is now enabled. Do it on this router as well. There we go. And that's this should be it. So let's see what is happening. And let's try a ping. See if it's working. Okay, so I'm sending a ping from one loopback to the other. We can see that IPsec is doing something. And let's take a look which commands we can use. So we got show crypto IPsec transform set. Let's just give it a shot. Okay, so that's just the stuff that we configured. Show crypto map. This is just a wrap up of uh, our crypto map. Uh, we just did this one, I think. Ah, this is the one I was looking for. Uh, show crypto IPsec SA. Because what you can see here is this. Packets encapsulated and decapsulated. And you will see if I do a ping. Then you can see that the number of packets has increased. And this ping is from one loopback to the other. Then you can see that the packets, uh, the number is increasing. 
but if we do just a regular ping then you can see it's not increasing because it's not matching the access list that I created here we go um, ok so we try the ping and as you just saw it's, uh, it's working um, ok so th this is uh, basically uh, it this is how you can configure a side to side IPsec VPN uh, thanks for watching and till next time